Do you have any tales of the wild? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no. I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. The Swamp Witch has a great deal in common with my former master. The Swamp Witch? How original. The Swamp Witch has the same arrogance, the same air of cruelty. I would hate for it to have possession of my control rod, if it still worked, of course. Let me tell you what you can do with your control rod, Gollum. Is it telling me that if the rod did work, that it wouldn't want control over me? I wouldn't go so far as that. I could, for instance, command you to go and jump in a lake. A very deep lake. It fools no one. The Swamp Witch would control everything if it could. It would have us all dancing on its strings. Oh, you know me too well, Gollum. Your revealing gaze has laid me bare. I will be watching the Swamp Witch. It must not be trusted. Oh, now you're beginning to sound just like Alistair. How many other forms can the Swamp Witch become? Several. Can it become a golem? Seeking companionship, are you? If it could become a golem, I simply wonder why it would not stay that way. It is a superior form. No, I cannot become a golem. I can learn to become animals, and each form must be learned anew. And how does it learn a form? Does it read about it somewhere? <laughs> it is not a talent one can read from books. You must copy a creature's soul. I do not understand. Nor should you. Rock is unchanging. Allow it to stay that way. I notice the sister has been spending a great deal of time with it. With it? Ah, oh, you mean him. I'm surprised you would notice such things. I am made of rock. This does not make me dense. <laughs> I suppose not. Does the sister not see a problem with serving two masters? Mm, ignoring the serving bit, I'll assume you mean the maker. I entered the Chantry as a lay sister, but I never took vows. Even had I, the Chantry doesn't prohibit two people from coming together in love. I was told that the sister left behind the service of the maker to journey here. You never really leave the maker, not in your heart. That seems like an argument for infidelity. You are very catty for a walking statue. You know that? It has been mentioned. I am not fond of sharing. You should know this. I haven't asked to borrow anything of yours. Nor would I lend it if asked. You would be best to desist and find your own. Find my own what? This facade of yours is unconvincing. If tis a competition you wish, a competition you shall have. You wild folk are very odd and possessive. So I am led to understand that the sister is a follower of this maker. Am I the sister? Oh, that's so cute. It's like you're my big brother. Or sister. Or whatever. I am a creature of stone. I rather doubt that we would be related in any shape or form. Oh, I didn't mean literally. Don't you think that people can be related in spirit? I notice that humans tend to believe in a great number of things that are not true, even when given evidence to the contrary. Believing in things when there is no proof is what faith is all about, Shale. Believing in things when there is no proof is what gullibility is all about. So I am gullible now. I, uh, take it we are no longer sisters in spirit. <laughs> <laughs>